Understanding Thyroid Cancer Did you know that thyroid cancer is often highly treatable, especially when detected early? Let's explore this condition together, empowering you with knowledge and hope. The thyroid, a butterfly-shaped gland in your neck, produces hormones that regulate metabolism. Thyroid cancer occurs when cells in the thyroid gland change and grow uncontrollably, forming a tumor. There are several types of thyroid cancer, with papillary and follicular being the most common. These types generally have excellent prognoses with appropriate treatment. Incidence. As per Globocan database in 2020, approximately 586,202 new cases of thyroid cancer were reported worldwide, making it the 10th most common cancer globally. Gender disparity. Thyroid cancer is about three times more common in women than in men as per Cancer Info Hub. Geographical distribution. The majority of cases occur in countries with high or very high human development index, HDI, accounting for 91% of new cases. Future projections. Globocan database predicts that by 2040, the incidence of thyroid cancer is expected to increase by 29.9%, and mortality is projected to rise by 67% globally. Type of cancers. Number 1. Papillary thyroid cancer, PTC. It's the most common type that accounts for about 80% of all thyroid cancers. Often affects younger adults, especially women. Slow-growing and usually responds well to treatment. May spread to lymph nodes, but has an excellent prognosis. Number 2. Follicular thyroid cancer, FTC. Second most common makes up about 10-15% of cases. More likely to spread through the bloodstream to the lungs or bones. Still has a good prognosis when detected early. Common in areas with low iodine intake. Number 3. Medullary thyroid cancer, MTC. It originates from C cells of the thyroid, not hormone-producing cells. It may be inherited familial MTC, or sporadic. It can be associated with multiple endocrine neoplasia, MEN, syndromes. Early detection of MTC improves outcome. Number 4. Anaplastic thyroid cancer, ATC. It's a very rare and aggressive type of thyroid cancer, only less than 2% of cases. It grows rapidly and is often diagnosed at an advanced stage, due to which it is difficult to treat and has a poor prognosis. Other rare types. Thyroid lymphoma, cancer of immune cells in the thyroid, linked with Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Herthel cell carcinoma, a rare subtype of follicular cancer, may behave more aggressively. Now let's dive into risk factors for thyroid cancer. Exposure to radiation, especially during childhood, for example, from medical treatments or environmental sources, significantly increases the risk. A family history of thyroid cancer or inherited conditions like familial medullary thyroid cancer, MN2, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, or Cowden syndrome raise the risk. Thyroid cancer is more common in women, particularly between ages 30 and 60. Diets too low or too high in iodine may contribute to certain types of thyroid cancer. Conditions like goiter, thyroid nodules, or Hashimoto's thyroiditis can increase risk. Being overweight or obese has been linked to a slightly increased risk. Previous thyroid disorders or surgery may increase susceptibility. Symptoms and diagnosis. Many people with thyroid cancer experience no symptoms initially. A lump in the neck is often the first sign, which may be discovered during a routine physical exam. Other symptoms can include hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, or neck pain. If you experience any of these, it's important to consult with your doctor. Diagnosis typically involves a physical exam, ultrasound, and fine needle aspiration biopsy. The biopsy helps determine if the nodule is cancerous and, if so, what type of cancer it is. Treatment for thyroid cancer usually involves surgery to remove the thyroid gland. Radioactive iodine therapy is often used after surgery to destroy any remaining thyroid tissue or cancer cells. Thyroid hormone replacement therapy is essential after thyroid removal to maintain normal metabolic function. Regular monitoring and follow-up appointments are crucial to ensure the cancer doesn't return. In some cases, external beam radiation therapy or chemotherapy may be used, 
particularly for more advanced or aggressive types of thyroid cancer. Targeted therapies are also emerging as treatment options. As prevention limit unnecessary radiation exposure. Avoid excessive use of x-rays or CT scans near the neck area unless medically required. If you have a family history, genetic testing and counseling can guide screening and early detection. Maintain a healthy iodine intake. Adapt an active lifestyle to reduce overall cancer risk. Get regular checkups if you have thyroid nodules, a goiter, or autoimmune thyroid disease. Early signs include a lump in the neck, hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, or persistent throat discomfort. Early detection greatly improves outcomes. Living with thyroid cancer can present challenges, but with proper management, most people live long and healthy lives. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet and regular exercise, can improve overall well-being. Open communication with your healthcare team is essential for managing any side effects or concerns. Ongoing research is focused on developing more effective and less toxic treatments for thyroid cancer. Scientists are exploring new targeted therapies and immunotherapies. Early detection and personalized treatment approaches are key to improving outcomes for people with thyroid cancer. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with thyroid cancer, remember you are not alone. Reach out to support organizations. Talk to your doctor about the best treatment options for you and consider participating in research studies to help advance our understanding of this disease. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of those affected by thyroid cancer.